So I hope I haven't fully depressed you about being a real estate agent, but what we've talked about is the Wall Street way and the fact that they've got endless supplies of money at greatly reduced costs, and they've got so much money that they're coming into our industry. They see a fractionalization of our industry. They see they can disrupt the industry. They see that they can make redundant the personal services that we provide. And so they say, hey, we don't need you. And you know what? We like all that money that real estate agents make. We like that so much that we're going to create the technology to reform how people buy and sell houses. And as a result of what we do to reform that, uh, we're going to put you out of business. It's just that simple. Now, I know that some of you watching this, you have very successful real estate agencies. And as a result, you've got a steady stream of referrals. You've got a steady stream of things coming in. And the writing is on the wall. That's all I ask you to pay attention to is the fact that when interest rates change, prices do come down length of time on the market does extend. These are givens regardless of whether the industry was going to change or not. It's always going to change in terms of pricing and length of time on the market. Also desirability. Now with the smaller number of children being produced by this current generation and later, then they just don't need as big a houses. If you think about the 50s, it was a big deal. Two bedroom, one bath houses went to three bedroom, one bath houses, and then they went to three bedroom, two bath houses. And then we had kind of a, a explosion of four bedroom houses. But then at this point in our lifespan and uh, demographics, what's happening is people are downsizing and we're seeing more people because of age. We got 10,000 people a day becoming 65 years old. So as a result of that, you're seeing people that are wanting flat houses instead of two-story, et cetera. So all of these things are going to have an impact on the number of home sales and the price point of home sales. So I'm encouraging you to take another look at what you're doing and say, is there another way that I can make money? Is there another way I can make more money? Is there a way that I can create for myself a retirement plan where I can have dependable, predictable monthly income, residual income for the rest of my life? That's what it's, what's next, baby.